Hey, good morning once again, band. Mr. Rogers here with the Bobcat Band at Sonora Elementary. <laughs> hey, if you haven't gone to number 81, which I just uploaded before 82, please go sight read the Merry Widow Waltz with us. And in that video, I explained this shirt. So, hey, you know who you are. Thanks for the shirt. What was it like a year ago, I think? This is one of my favorite shirts. So, thank you very much. I like to wear it on a weekly basis. <laughs> Hey, this is number 82. This is called airtime. And if you think about airtime, that means, uh, you know, like if you're <laughs> jumping up in the air, you want to stay in the air for a longer period of time. Uh, that could apply to, you know, basketball players. That could apply to skateboarders, right? So in this case, are you in your higher register for the duration of the tune? Yes, higher register. So you're, you're getting airtime. That's where the title comes from. Pretty clever. So let's look at the very end real quick. Is there a repeat sign? No repeat sign. So you're just playing it through one time. Your time signature is different now. It's 4-4, four, four, four beats per measure. Look at your key signature. Those notes are very important, okay? Alto sax is you shouldn't have anything. All right, so your Fs are natural in this case. It's gonna be one, two, three one with the right hand. So if you're in the higher F, that's with your octave key. So thumb, one, two, three, one. So watch out for that. Okay, and we have a tied note at the end. We have a whole note tied to a quarter note. So four plus one is five beats altogether. In your mind, you're counting one, two, three, four, one, release. Because then you have three beats of rest after that. All right, let's go ahead and sight read the video. Oh, sight read the video. I am the video. You can't sight read me. So this is going to be uh, sight reading for you out of the book. Pause the video right now. Okay, so the dotted half note in measure two should get three beats all together. Be sure that the quarter note after that is treated like a pickup note. Bum, 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 one, two, three, bum, bum, right? Take a big breath at the beginning. There is no dynamic marking, so let's play it like a mezzo forte, just the whole time, okay? Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready. <laughs> That last note should get five complete beats. So it might feel unnatural to have to play that note that long, but again, whenever you're playing for an audience, to give them an idea of what the ending of the song really is, you have to play with confidence throughout that last note. So say if I was gonna play the last three measures, half note, half note, tied whole note, this is what it would sound like if I didn't hold it out long enough. Right? It's, it feels like there should be more of a, like, we are home, we've made it, let's embrace that sound. So, let's play the whole thing one more time, okay? One, two, this is the beginning. One, two, ready. <sighs> That's airtime, everybody. <laughs> hey, just be sure you're using that fast, cold airstream brass players to get that higher register down. Don't push the mouthpiece into the embouchure. Be sure you're using the air support to get you the range we need. Great sound, everybody. Rock on. I will see you once again tomorrow. Be sure to check out Mr. Dooley's videos on a daily basis as well. And if you feel like 
going back to a video today that you didn't have a chance before because you didn't have your instrument at the time, go ahead and head back to our previous videos and sight read some earlier stuff in the book with us. All right? Y'all take care.